Like bacon, pastrami is a dish most people would never think of making at home. But in fact, if you have a little time, it's very easy. The traditional cut of meat for pastrami is beef navel. This is a cut from the underbelly of the steer. It's sort of the beef equivalent of bacon, and you can see the broad striations of fat, meat, fat, and meat. Now prepare the brine. Bring half the water to a boil in a large stock pot, then add your salt, one teaspoon of pink curing salt, sometimes called prog powder. It's added as a preservative and it's responsible for the inviting pink color of pastrami. Now add one half onion cut in quarters and a handful of garlic cloves cut in half. Whisk these ingredients together until the salt dissolves. Then shock chill the brine with an equal amount of ice water. Once the brine has cooled to room temperature, pour it over the beef navel. Now cover the beef navel with plastic wrap. You can also do this in a heavy duty resealable plastic bag and cure the pastrami in the refrigerator for 10 days, turning it over each day. So here's the beef navel after it has cured for 10 days. You can see the meat has already started to take on that pink color. What you wanna do is rinse the beef navel in cold water and blot it dry with paper towels. Next step, prepare the rub. The primary flavors of the rub are black pepper and coriander seed. And coarsely grind them. Next, add mustard seeds, brown sugar, and powdered ginger. And mix the ingredients for the rub with your fingers. It's a really interesting combination, the spice of the black pepper, the sweetness of the coriander. It's one of the defining flavors of pastrami. Come back to your dried beef navel. Sprinkle half the rub on the bottom, massaging it into the meat. Then turn the beef navel over and put the remaining rub on the top and on the sides. So you're probably wondering where pastrami got its name. I found out a few years ago at a meat market in Istanbul. I saw long strips of spice cured meat hanging from the rafters. They called it bastorma and it's popular throughout the Middle East and Turkey. As bastorma migrated westward, it took on the name pastrami. To smoke the pastrami, I'm using an electric smoker. Electric smokers are great for long, slow smokes for maintaining a consistent temperature. I fueled the smoker with apple wood. It comes in the form of these sawdust discs. Simply place them in the hopper, set the temperature to 225 degrees, put the pastrami in the smoker, Cooking time, about eight hours. Target internal temperature, 195 degrees. Electric smokers are really as close as you get to set it and forget it type smokers. Ideal for people who are results oriented. They want to smoke food, they enjoy the convenience of turn of a knob, heat control, and push button fueling and ignition. It's been eight hours, and look at that pastrami. It's killer. You always want to check the internal temperature. I'll insert an instant read meat thermometer, 192, 195, we're there. Take out the pastrami. Okay, 
the moment of truth. Look at that gorgeous crimson pink color. It slices beautifully. And I suppose we could do a deli classic. Mustard on rye bread. And then we'll lay on some pastrami. This is a pastrami sandwich. That pepper and coriander crust, it's salty, but not too salty. The generous marbling gives it a luscious mouthfeel. So there you have it. From the Middle East to the deli to Project Smoke, it's home-cured, home-smoked pastrami.